Hi. Today's people are in, in ready to join the class. All students were ready hmm. to join. Oh, we're excited. Good evening, but sir. Lisa isn't online yet. Good, good evening. Um, you just texted, come join, and there is five people. <laughs> they, they were here even before I texted, actually, two of them. Two of them were here even before I texted. You have started, no? Yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, what we didn't finish yesterday, let's finish it now. And where is your friend, sir? I messaged her. She's not online yet. Okay. Which okay. hmm? Someone is whispering. Okay. It's so uh, I think we did exercise one, right? A packet of tissues, a um, box of tissues a packet of biscuits and all that stuff, a loaf of bread, a slice of bread, right? Um, packet of bread. Okay. Now, shops. Look at the picture of a street in a town. This is the picture of a street in a town. Where can you get the things on the list? Where can you buy a loaf of bread? Where can you buy a loaf of bread, guys? Baker's. At the baker's, right. Uh, where can you buy a book of stamps? Post office. At, at the post office. At, right. Where can you buy some meat, guys? At, at the, the butchers. butchers. At the butchers. And where can you buy a newspaper? At news at agents. The news at the news segment. Okay. 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 Where can you buy a packet of aspirin? At chemist. At yes. the chemist. Right. At, at the, the chemist. chemist. At the at chemist. chemist. Apostrophe S. Don't forget to use the apostrophe S. Chemist. chemist. Okay. And the chemist. Apostrophe S. Where is the shop, by the way? Where is the chemist shop? Uh, there. Uh, beside the news seg segment. Uh, sorry. News agents. Yes, exactly. And where can you buy an English dictionary? Beside the chemist shop. Where can Good you evening, buy, buy an English? Hello, Vaisan. Which shop can you buy? Where can you buy an English dictionary? At a bookstore. You can buy it at, at a bookstore. At a bookstore. At a bookstore. Okay, by the way, what's the difference? A bookstore, bookshop? Bookstore is American English. Bookshop is British. Okay. Uh, where can you buy? <laughs> where can you get some money? Not buy. Where can you get some money? At the bank. Yes, okay. And uh, where can you get a bottle of wine? At off license. At the off license. Anywhere, sir. Who, who drink? <laughs> now, exercise three. Food. Write the words in the correct column. There are five words for each column. So, which is vegetables and which is fruit and which is meat? Lemon. Uh, vegetables. Which words are in vegetables, guys? Lemon. Uh, really? Let's see. Onion. Onion, Onion goes here. Okay. Pea goes here. Carrot. Carrot goes here. Okay. Cauliflower. Cauliflower goes here. And let's talk about meat. Turkey. What Ham. is turkey? Turkey is a type of meat. What is turkey? Oh, Aman. Uh, uh, just a second, Aman. When we were looking at this picture, did we talk about Turkey? Were you there? When we were describing yeah. this? Yes. Aman, were you there? Yes, sir. And you don't remember what Turkey was. Watch the recording. I like my students when they remember the things we mentioned, we talk about in the class. Okay. Turkey. And 
<laughs> Next, we have lamb, ham, beef, chicken, turkey. Five things in the meat. Pineapple, peach, raspberry, melon. Uh, what is this courgette? I think courgette is a vegetable or fruit. Let's find out. Let's Google it. It's a fruit. Okay. C O U R G E double T E. Uh huh. It's a vegetable. Okay. It looks like cucumber. Can you show us, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Zucchini, okay. British. Yeah. British. It's okay. a British word, okay, guys? The immature fruit of a vegetable marrow, in particular, one of a variety developed for harvesting and eating at an early stage of growth. Okay, slices of culture. Okay. So anything yeah. that is earliest stage of growth? No, 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 no. You misunderstood. Jump. Don't jump to conclusions like this. Okay. Uh, just this is what happens. When you have not spent long enough trying to understand what's written, you develop some wrong perceptions. And if you are a person who doesn't mind uh, taking chances with their uh, reputation and uh, what is that word? Um, credibility, you know, then you will mm -hmm. start talking about it. So don't do that. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. How did you come conclude that any vegetable at an early stage will be called courgette? How did you jump to that conclusion? Just because of this no, eating? Uh, <laughs> no, not any vegetables. Like uh, then, I thought like vegetables like cucumber and uh, uh, parvur. Uh, what we say again? Again, you imagine so many things. Okay, uh, let's go and read squash family. It is. One of the most popular vegetables in the squash family, being extremely versatile, tender and easy to cook. Just don't boil them. They have a deep green. Okay, why is it mentioned under BBC Good Food? Because it is somewhat regional, all right? It is only found in, in, in England, right? It is a British food. Did you see the word courgette and the word British written here? Yeah. So the word courgette, is used mainly inside Britain. Exactly. That's the most, most important information. And it is from zucchini family. The zucchini courgette or baby marrow is a summer squash. Okay. So it is like cucumber. It is like kakri. All right. It is a marrow. Okay. Um, a vining harbicus plant with, whose fruit are harvested. Uh, when their immature seeds and epicrap are still soft and edible. It is closely related, but not identical to the marrow. Okay, related to the marrow. Its, it's fruit may be called marrow when mature. Okay. Zucchini is called perhaps courgette in uh, Britain. This is something that I hate about uh, people who are, you know, writing because why do they have to talk about particular things from Britain? Britain is not a very big country in the world. And, you know, there are certain things which are, you know, regional, right? Like certain things which, which grow in a certain region. The rest of the world either does not know that name or doesn't have that thing at all, okay, that product at all. So we can simply ignore the word courgette because it is a word used oh, mainly gosh. inside England, only inside Britain. So ignore this word, okay? And it is some. It is eaten raw and cooked as well as the the information on the internet was available. Now, I didn't ask you to do anything else, did I? Like everyday English and grammar review and all this. No, sir. No, no. Yeah, we had homework every day. What? what? You have How shared this. Okay, okay, okay. Just give me a second. I did, I did, I did. Guys, it is in the group. So how many people mm. have done this? I have done so. Okay. 
Aman, Nikhil hasn't. Sarita, Raki, Saurav, Sahib, Shahid, Paisan, Maria. Yes, sir, I have done this homework. Okay. I have completed only half. You completed half. Okay, fine. I'll check it tomorrow. I'd like to give you guys another chance to do it. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to look at what we are going to do next in the main book here. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Hmm. Remember, 4.8, we did this, and I asked you to do exercise 3. I'm going to play 4.8 one more time. Please pay attention to the sen extra sentences there. This stuff. 4.8. Four point eight. Can you come for dinner? One. Mmm, this soup's lovely. Would you mind giving me the recipe? Not at all. I found it online. I'll email you a link to it. I want to just highlight this. I'll email you a link to it. Most times, when you talk about a future time and the decision was made in the moment of speaking, the decision was made in the moment of speaking. This is the most important part, okay? The decision was made in the moment of speaking. You say, I will, not I'm going to, not anything else. I'll, okay, I will. I'll email you a link to it. You have studied in the previous unit, maybe, in it two or three, that we can use... I am going to do something in the elementary course as well. You studied this. I'm going to do something talks about your intentions and plans. So here I'll email you a link to it is more natural sentence than I'm going to email you. Okay. Because the decision was made in this moment. Okay. It was not a pre-decided thing. I'll email you a link to it. Did you get the message or it was not received properly? Was the message I shared was received properly, guys? Did you understand exactly what I meant? Give me one, two more examples. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so I asked my daughter, what is uh, for dinner tonight? What is for dinner tonight? And I have this conversation at around seven o'clock, okay? My daughter says, mommy is going to cook, uh, you know, khichdi. Mommy is going to cook chicken. Mommy is going to cook something. So why does she say mommy is going to cook? Does it, is she talking about the present time or the future time, my daughter? Present. Future. No, talking about the future. Yeah. Okay. The my wife hasn't started cooking dinner yet. Yeah. Okay. So when my daughter says she is going to cook chicken or something like this, it means it was decided earlier. My daughter is just telling me, okay, that yeah, okay. mom is going to cook this. All right. Um. Let me give you another easy example. My daughter bought something from the shops, let's say a dress, okay? And it was kept on the on the bed. I came and took a look and I said, hey, Aditi, there is a big hole here in this uh, dress. She says, yes, Papa, I know I'm going to take it back. Yes, Papa, I know I'm going to take it back. I'm going to take it back. Why did she say, I'm going to take it back? Because she knew. She said, yes, Papa, I know. Means she had already seen the you know, hole and she had made up her mind in that moment that 
she she wanted to take it back to the shop. So when I talked about it, she only shared with me what she had already decided. Oh, yes, Papa, I know. I didn't see it there at the shop. I'm going to take it back. Now, a slightly different situation. I walk into the room, I see a dress, and I see a hole, and I say to my daughter, Aditi, take a look, there is a big hole in this dress. Uh, a hole? Where? Let me see. She reacts. And I show, oh my God, I didn't see this. I'll just take it back to the shop. I'll take it back to the shop. So um, I'll take it back to the shop. Why? Because she didn't know about this hole. So she decided in this moment, in and moment, that, in that moment, I'll take it back to the shop. Did this, in you know, example help you understand? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The message was received properly, everybody. Yes. yes. Yeah. I'm waiting for Lisa so impatiently. I had this. I had thought of texting her yesterday to remind her of today's, you know, uh, appointment. But I didn't. I forgot about it. And here we go. She's not even online right now. Uh, I think it is six o'clock in the evening here. It should be about two o'clock in the afternoon in England right now. I don't know why, why she's don't not. You just give her a ring, sir. Uh, she's not online. Maybe she should be online. Could be. Uh, I was really looking forward to it. It's about 2 p.m. in England, sir. Yes, I know. So, it is afternoon, right? Yes. I have no idea why she's not online. Maybe she knew uh, she, we were going to wait for her. And unfortunately, she didn't want to inform. She couldn't inform us. And that's why maybe she just, I don't know. Or maybe she simply got... simply got I think she forgot. Maybe, maybe she simply forgot. Okay, but we, uh, we have, uh, we, we have, have such a long time. Yeah, yeah. She might we come have up. one hour and some minutes yeah. left. So exactly, she might wait. come on back. Yeah, of course. Um. Okay. So. Where were we? What were we talking about? That will thing there in the you know text in the audio. Um, I'll email you a link to it. So did I explain the difference between will and going to a bit? That's not the yeah. only difference. That's not the only difference. There are other differences as well, but one difference is clear to you, right? Can so you let's please continue. speak louder? Yeah, sure. How, how about now? Is it any better? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Um, let me know if you guys have any problems with the audio. Oh, great. Sometimes I think you start we're keep... speaking slowly. Uh-huh. Don't know why. Kids will love it. Oh, great. I think my kids will love it. I think our kids will love it. I think our kids will love it. Now, another use of will here. I think our kids will love it. I think our kids will love it. No. Yeah. Yeah. I think our kids will love it. This will is not about decision made in this moment. This is why reaching advanced level of English is difficult for those people who learn through another language. Unless you learn English in English, it's impossible, impossible to reach the advanced level. Now, will, everybody has studied will already. And when you studied will, did you think that you didn't learn enough? You thought, okay, that's very simple. We use will to refer to the future time. That's all, enough. But here, I'm sharing information which is new. Why? You have to compare it with going to. 
when I gave you that example about my daughter not knowing about the hole in that dress and she said, oh, I didn't see this. I'll, I'll take it to the shop, okay? So that will. And then, oh, yeah, Papa, I know there is the hole, that hole. I didn't see it in the shop. I'm going to take it back, okay? And now here she says, the woman, oh, great. I think our kids will love it. The soup's recipe, the soup, our kid, kids will love it. So here, a person is predicting the future. Yeah, yeah. Here a person is predicting the predicting future. The future. Exactly. You are saying this will happen. Okay. So you can predict the future with will. You came late. We don't use will every time we talk about future. That's the point. Will has limited uses. There are other situations which refer to the future time, but we do not use will there. Going to, the yes, so, going to is used, yes. And can you explain this will? Uh, I won't let this happen. I won't let this happen. So, will not, negative, won't is will not. I will not let this happen. Yes. So, what do you want me to do for with this sentence, uh, Shahid? Why we use will not here? Okay. So, like I said, that in English, how you see the future, accordingly you choose your words. So, some people might say, I'm not going to let this happen. I'm not going to let this happen. Mm -hmm. That is as correct as I will not let this happen. Both are equally correct. They show the future in different ways. When somebody says, I'm not going to let this happen, that person is talking about his intentions and plans. Because yeah. we know that going to refers to the future plans and intentions. And then I will not let this happen. Okay. This sentence just says that ye hoga nahi future mein, main nahi hone dunga. So, dono sentences say hai, theek hai? But aap jab, uh, when people speak English, wo jo bhi bolte hai, usi hisab se usko samajna chahiye. Haan, ye hum kya sakte hai? We non-native speakers of English, those who are learning, we need to keep it in mind how we see the future. If we see the future as event, as just an event, a future yes. prediction, Something certain in the future. That's it. It will happen. A prediction type. We can use will. No problems. Okay. When we look at a future event as an intention or plan, we can use going to. And we also use going to to refer to a future event that has its reasons in the present. Signs in the present. You are looking at the present and making a prediction about the future. Tum dhyan nahi de tum pakka karne wale ho. You are not paying attention. You are going to regret it. You are going to? You will regret it. I can say it. Why not? I will say it. I will say it. You will regret it. Yes, this will happen. Yes, this will happen. You will regret it. And you are going to regret it. I will say it. I will say it. I will say it. I will say it. You will regret it. You will say it. You will regret it. You are going to fail the exam. You are not working hard. ठीक है तो ये दर से ये देखा गया आपको दोनों को इसलिए समझना होगा अलग अलग बार बार मैं कहता हूं कि किसी को आप गिफ्ट में एक चॉकलेट दे सकते हो गिफ्ट में एक मोबाइल फोन दे सकते हो तो क्या चॉकलेट और मोबाइल फोन एक चीज हो गए उस ओकेजन पे दोनों में से कोई भी चीज दे दिए चला राइट तो टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स कैन बी यूज्ड इन अ सर्टेन सिचुएशन इट डजंट मीन दे बिकम द सेम थिंग तो अगर मैंने कहा you're not studying hard. You are going to fail the exam. You're not studying hard. I think you'll fail the exam. Okay? I said both of them. Both of them 100% correct English. So it's not that going to or will is one thing. They're going to be different. There's no difference between both of them. You give a gift, you give a mobile, it's also going to be a chocolate, it's also going to be a chocolate, it's also going to be a chocolate. चॉकलेट दे दो वो भी चलता है लेकिन चॉकलेट और मोबाइल एक नहीं है फोन मोबाइल फोन करने का काम आएगा चॉकलेट से फोन नहीं कर सकेंगे तो सिमिलरली 
अगर आप कह रहे हैं इंटेंशन बताना आपका इरादा है तो आप कौन सा यूज करेंगे गोइंग टू याद रखेंगे इस बात को कि इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट योर इंटेंशन और आप वहां विल बोल रहे हैं तो अच्छा नहीं है ये इट इज नॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू द ग्रामर ऑफ इंग्लिश बेसिक तो ये कभी नहीं सोचना कि ये गलत है जब तक वो एकदम वायलेट नहीं करेगा जैसे मैंने दोनों ही लाइंस बोल के दिखा दिया आपको हाँ तो आप दोनों ही सही हैं कोई दिक्कत नहीं है बस एक बता रहा है इंटेंशन और एक बता रहा है ये होगा फ्यूचर प्रोडिक्शन फ्यूचर प्रोडिक्शन ये होगा ठीक है ये होगा बस उसको आप एक फैक्ट के तौर पे देखते हो दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर मी टू से दिस यू लुक एट दैट फ्यूचर इवेंट एज ए फैक्ट इन द फ्यूचर यू लुक एट इट एज ए फैक्ट इन द फ्यूचर एक और एग्जाम्पल देता हूं जहां पे ये बहुत बढ़िया होने वाला है yeah. अगले साल मैं तैतालीस साल का हो जाऊंगा ठीक है आई विल बी ये फैक्ट है एक फैक्ट के, फैक्ट के तौर पे देख रहा हूं कि अगले साल मैं तैतालीस साल आई विल बी फोर्टी थ्री नेक्स्ट ईयर ठीक है तो आप ऐसे भी कर सकते हैं और जैसे मैंने अभी आपको बताया कि वेन यू आर लिसनिंग टू पीपल स्पीक इंग्लिश इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट दे आर ऑल फॉलोइंग ग्रामर करेक्टली but i told you what is correct according to grammar if you are doing an exam and all okay what you should be careful about however in practical yeah, english say, yeah, i will in, turn 43 i'm i'm coming to that again in practical english people sometimes do not follow the right structure even tense forget about all these things okay they do not speak standard english all the time even the native speakers sometimes do not follow the standard english depends on their personality their ability their you know intelligence and all those things yes. uh status in society how qualified they are all these become a factor so language can be flexible you need to be flexible because sometimes you will hear different things now what was the question i'll be 43 next year yes sir we turn ना मैं इसमें अपना इरादा बता रहा हूँ ना कुछ मैं एक फैक्ट बोल रहा हूँ कि फ्यूचर में ऐसा होगा नेक्स्ट ईयर आई विल बी फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी थ्री तो आप ऐसे विल को इसीलिए विल को बोल देते हैं फ्यूचर टेंस बिकॉज फ्यूचर में जो फैक्ट होगा ना उसको हम भी बताते हैं विल से फ्यूचर में जो फैक्ट बनने वाला है आपके हिसाब से जो फ्यूचर में फैक्ट बनने वाला है आप बोल दिए ना इंडिया विल विन द वर्ल्ड कप इंडिया विल आप बोल इंडिया विल विन द वर्ल्ड कप आई थिंक इंडिया विल विन द वर्ल्ड कप आपने बोल दिया यानी फ्यूचर में ये फैक्ट होने वाला है हाँ आई द वे दे सी द वे दे इंडिया द वे दे आर प्लेइंग ओ माई गॉड आई थिंक दे आर गोइंग टू विन इन दर्ल्ड कप दिस ईयर ओके तो ये भी सही है कोई दिक्कत नहीं आपको महसूस हुआ मैंने क्या बोला मैंने बताया कि यार जब खेल रहे हैं तो जीत जाएंगे यार इस बार का वर्ल्ड कप जीत जाएंगे ये तो मैंने प्रेजेंट से भी रिलेट करके बता दिया एक फ्यूचर प्रोडिक्शन दे दिया जिस तरह का परफॉर्मेंस दे रहे हैं लग रहा है कि पक्का जीत ही जाएंगे तो आपको यहाँ पर ये नहीं करना है कि हर बार डिफरेंस ढूंढना है ये जो बोलना है कि वो बोलना है कुछ सिचुएशन में एक ही आएंगे बाकी ज्यादातर सिचुएशन में आप जो भी बोलोगे दोनों में से आप डिफेंड कर पाओगे अपने आप को अब मैं ऐसे बोलना चाहूंगा कि आपको डिफेंड नहीं करना है आपको ये देखना है कि हम किस लिहाज से बोल रहे हैं उसको आप अपने अंदर जानते हैं ना आप कैसे देख रहे हैं फ्यूचर को आप इंटेंशन प्लान देख रहे हैं आप गोइंग टू से बोलिए आप एक प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन की वजह से रिजल्ट कुछ होने वाला है फ्यूचर में प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस से बोल लीजिए गोइंग टू से बोल लीजिए और अगर आपको एक चीज फ्यूचर में फैक्ट होते हुए दिखती है भले ही प्रेजेंट में कोई रीजन हो चाहे नहीं हो आपको कुछ उस तरह का नहीं आप देख रहे हैं उस वजह से नहीं बोल रहे आप एक फैक्ट बता रहे फ्यूचर में ये चीज फैक्ट हो जाएगा आप बोल दो विल से बोल दो कोई टेंशन नहीं तो आप अपने हिसाब से चुनो जब कोई और कुछ बोले तो उसके वर्ड्स के उसके वर्ड्स के हिसाब से सोचो वो क्या बोलना चाह रहा है क्योंकि आपको पता है yes. अगर किसी ने कहा ना आई एम गोइंग टू किल दैट का चिड़चिड़ाया हुआ है पूरा राइट आप समझ जाए कि उसका इरादा है कि उसको मार देने को बोल रहा है मार देंगे उसको तब जान मार देंगे आई गोइंग टू किल दैट आप पढ़े ना गोइंग टू मतलब इंटेंशन प्लान तो आप इससे अंदाजा लगा कि उसका गुस्सा है वो इसलिए बोल रहा है गोइंग टू किल दैट का तो बहुत सिंपल है कीप इट सिंपल आप ये नहीं करें कि हर बार आप दोनों में डिफरेंस देखेंगे हर बार नहीं देर आर सर्टेन सिचुएशन वेर ओनली वन इज पॉसिबल दी अदर इज नॉट पॉसिबल 
और वो मैंने एग्जाम्पल दिया आपको क्लियरली माई डॉटर वेन आई से टोल्ड अदिति अदिति लुक एट दिस बिग होल इन द ड्रेस अदिति डिंट यू सी इट वेर इज द होल वॉट ओ माई गॉड अब यहाँ पर एक ही चीज वो बोलेगी वो नहीं बोलेगी आई एम गोइंग टू टेक इट वो क्या बोलेगी आई एम टेक इट क्योंकि उसको अभी पता चला है इस बारे में तो अभी ना डिसाइड किए ले जाने के लिए दुकान वापस वापस करने का तो शिव से आल टेक इट बैक टू दश और जब उसने कहा ओ या आई नो अबाउट दैट होल पापा आई सॉ दैट वहां नहीं बोलेगी आल टेक इट बैक वहां क्या बोलेंगे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक इट बैक यही सब थोड़ा थोड़ा फर्क समझिएगा एंड द ओनली प्रॉब्लम विद यू गाइज इज प्रॉब्लम I teach you from a different standards. मैं उम्मीद करके चलता हूँ कि आप लोग बहुत ज्यादा इंग्लिश सुनेंगे नेटिव स्पीकर को सुन रहे होंगे तो ये सब चीजें बार बार आपके सामने आएंगे और आप कहेंगे सर ने सही बताया हुआ है लेकिन आपका समय बीतता है सब स्टैंडर्ड लोगों को सुनते हुए ठीक है तो आपको जो मैं पढ़ाता हूँ कई बार उसके उल्टा चीजें सुनने को मिलेंगी इस वजह से नहीं मैंने जो पढ़ा वो गलत बोलने वाले फॉलो नहीं कर रहे स्टैंडर्ड इंग्लिश ओके दैट्स वाई तो आपको वहां पर सिर्फ यही जानना चाहिए कि वॉट आई टॉट वॉज प्रिस्क्रिप्टिव ग्रामर इन दिस इन दिस एस्पेक्ट ये होना चाहिए लेकिन लोग जरूरी नहीं ऐसा फॉलो करते हैं स्पेशली दो डू नॉट स्पीक इंग्लिश एज देयर फर्स्ट लैंग्वेज बिकॉज नॉट एवरीबडी टेक्स केयर ऑफ दीज थिंग्स तो बस स्टे इजी नो प्रॉब्लम स्टे काम एंड कीप लर्निंग any further discussion on this india is where india is trying hard to win this world cup uh, we are in a very good shape right now do indian you know match. who is our opener at today's match yeah we have a very good t- total to chase 300 and 60. but who is the opener see the opener sir roy sharma and will you I means guess who is the second one do Washington Sundar. Washington Sundar. I didn't expect this. Sir. I know why. Good. To give depth to the batting, they want to give depth to the batting. You know, they know that Rohit Sharma can take care of the scoring in the first fifteen overs, ten overs. He is. So, yeah, they just want to take it long. They know if we have batsmen till the forty fifth, forty sixth over, good batsmen. And then the match will be our and it's good when he has scored 50 and 60 and he can if, do that if this guy is scored he... um, washington sundar if he stays there with i will say run a ball kind of you know score 30 40 runs that will be a bonus yep 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 he has scored 17 runs in 26 deliveries 10 over 72 runs india is absolutely on the way Do you want to watch a little bit, guys? No, no sir. No. Evening with the cameraman. It's not worth it. Good ball, but they start romancing. We no. already been the three. Start romancing the sunset. That's a drone camera. It makes it, it makes every ground look so pretty. Just one over of this, Glenn Maxwell, and then we will go back to our. Yeah. Is bowling is probably going to be as important as his batting. The video is sick. If, right? if you do play one spin, he's the only other one. Uh, at the top of the order can bowl some spin classic yeah very underrated as a bowler he substitution off rahega ya nahi bhai looks like a batsman when he's bowling is, he's uh, street smart is there things festival no 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 holiday underestimate him he will uh, he'll do the business you look at australia's options australia want to have someone like a carry at 7 the stone is at 6 maybe and you can only play that lineup if you play if glen maxwell is your second spinner if you're playing ashwin agar it means everyone goes up the order you got a back carry at 6 or only play two front line seamers out of uh, coming star and uh, hazelwood this was what took him to his 50 he's actually done an incredible job to get there as mac uh, has uh, star yeah he's got He's a good mover, Mitchell Stark. He's had a few injuries with fingers and groins, and I think he's come up all right out of that, though. Very, very costly mistake. I think a lot of teams are going to 
Um, just on the way through the tournament, depending on the conditions, they're, they're going to have to change their, you know, the the makeup of their bowling attack. Catch. There's a fielder there, and this catch will be taken. It's oh. a very good catch from Marcus Labouchet. Look to play the inside out shot. There's vast open spaces, but he's covered very good ground. Well, I don't see Washington Sundar playing the World Cup, you know, 11. I don't see him in the World Cup. 11, you know, the top 11 team. I mean, yeah, he will be not in 11. I don't see him in the playing 11. We have Ravinder Jadeja, yeah. better option. He deserves a place just because of his fielding. You know, some people are very critical of Ravinder Jadeja. I don't understand why. No, no, his, his bowling is also good, sir. His bowling is outstanding. You know, he bowls yeah. really well. And then as a batsman, he the when time. it's needed, he can score runs as well. It's not that he has never done it for, for India. You know, so... Yeah. He did a great job in IPL, sir. Yeah. Went, I mean... The only thing is, if India wants to play two spinners, uh, the second spinner should be Kuldeep. Yeah. Ravi Chandra Ashwin. Who? He is also not going to play, I think. Ravi Chandran has been. Somewhere he will play in some... Yeah, game. a few it's... matches. Yeah, a few yeah. matches. If India ma decide to play three spinners, then maybe Ravi, Ravi Chandran no, will... India is not going to play with three spinners. If there is a spinner pitch, of course, uh, Ashwin will play. Sir. Otherwise, hmm. Siraj and uh, what other? Bumrah, Bumra. Shardul Thakur. Yeah. No, no. Kul Shardul Thakur will not play a single match. He will play, sir. I bet you he will play. Why? Why would? Why should he play? Because the uh, uh, management thinks he, he has uh, means some batting ability, sir, and he can score the run. We need some more batter that manage. Two batsmen. Other people are interested in this discussion. Faizan, Sarita, Rakhi, Aman, Sarav. Because it is a topic that I would love discussing, you know, <laughs> cricket. There was a time, there was a time about 12 years ago. We had a class in the evening and every day we had only discussions related to cricket. And that class went on for some, nearly three, four months. And we played cricket every Sunday too. We had a team. And we discussed crickets in so much detail, expert and you know opinions and this and that. And it was real fun, you know. We really enjoyed being there. Um, I wish those classes could have been live. People would have enjoyed it so much because we had some quality discussion there with quality English speakers. There were some really lovely students back then. But I didn't see anybody taking interest here. <laughs> Nikhil, not interested in discussion about cricket. Actually, sir, my word, I don't play when. Uh -huh. You don't play or you don't People watch? Don't play, but they like watching. I don't watch. No, no, sir. I don't play. I don't watch. I like, I'm far away from this. Uh, yeah. Are you using Instagram? Do, sorry, do uh, you yeah. use Instagram? Yeah, I use Instagram. Uh -huh. The, the boys who never play cricket, uh, there is some <laughs> legal I will send it to you. <laughs> What <laughs> roast you did, man. <laughs> you just roasted him again. <laughs> okay, boys who don't okay. play cricket are on Instagram. <laughs> no, I said no, I sir, have a reason actually, and I saved, I saved I, that reel. I, I thought like he is going to roast, but uh, at last moment he changed that. Like he told he has a reel, he will uh, send me on Instagram. Yeah. That's yeah. what he told. Okay, okay. But reels, reels will roast you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand, I understand. Well, uh, you have to search for my ID then. You know, somewhere we don't have to say the word or from, we have to speak. You have to send the reels and some send some memes, they will get that, what I want to say exactly. Job done, job done. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, but 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 you have to uh, search some, for me on to Instagram, put some right? On your story, you have to take my ID. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I will, I will uh, send huh. me on. Yeah, on well, Telegram. it is. Uh, it is. I am not you. Okay, okay. I will search <laughs> after this class, and I will follow you, and I will send that ring. I'm not you. Okay. 
So let's carry on listening. Two. Could you pass the salt, please? Yes, of course. Do you want the pepper too? No, thanks. Just the salt. Do you want the pepper too? No, thanks. Just the salt. S L T. How do you pronounce it? Salt. How do you pronounce it? Salt. 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 No, you won't. I'm going to no, you won't. Intense. You don't value your words. You don't have a credibility. <laughs> something. If you say something, I have to believe you. If you have credibility, then whatever you say, people will believe it because you have got credibility. But if you don't value your words, sooner or later, you lose your credibility. I so I don't believe that you are going to take anything seriously. You will only take those things seriously that you want to take seriously. You won't even take my words. If I say, hey, uh, nah, you know what? This is very important. You'll say, I don't care. I don't care it is important. It is, you are saying it is important. I don't think it is important. You won't listen to me. I know. You won't. Yeah, you, this is simple. You only will pay attention when you want to, when you think something is important. Something should strike you here. Otherwise, and you're not very clever to understand that, okay, sir is saying this. Why is he saying this? He's a professional. He's earning money doing this. He must be right about it. Yes, sir. You won't think this way. You do? Yes, sir. Then, then pay attention. Salt it is, not salt, okay? Hmm. Salt. Three. Anyone for seconds? Anyone for seconds? And you all know seconds, the second serving, right? Yes. Anyone for a yeah. second? No, thanks. It's delicious, no, but I couldn't eat another thing. What? Eat another thing? No. Well, there's dessert to come, you know. Well, there is dessert to come, you know. Don't say you couldn't eat another thing. Well, there is dessert to come. Well, there is dessert to come. Dessert dessert to come. come. Do you like eating dessert? Uh... Dessert to come? Okay, I don't understand why people eat something sweet at the end of the meal. Okay, if I have eaten a nice, lovely chicken curry with puri or pulao or something, yes. I'm not going to change the taste of my mouth eating some rasgullas or some... I yeah, I won't. Somewhere some other... I read I it's good for health. If you don't yeah. like to eat... So you, you feel uh, automatic to have sweet because I do always I don't know why, but I do always. Sir, After uh, having a nice meal, you want to have sweets? Yeah, yeah. And what about uh, the heartburn that you have? Heartburn, yeah. Heartburn, yeah. That is the phrase, right? Heartburn. You have heartburn after that. When you eat something very spicy and then you eat something very sweet, then you experience heartburn, right? Yeah, no, it tastes something else. In March, it tastes something else. Yeah. Oh, what is heartburn? I don't know, sir. Heartburn. Generally. It's like mix, mixing a sweet and uh, a spicy thing oh, yes. and tasted like something. Who doesn't digest, you know, and then you have some pain in your, in your chest because of the yeah. food doesn't digest. Or okay, strange okay. feeling inside. That is what we refer to. Have you heart. have you eaten uh, like uh, you have eaten? I like you like that ice cream with uh, hot rasgulla. Like I can say hot rasgulla with ice cream. Oh, never the combination. People rasgulla? used to eat a not lot. Hot, not hot rasgulla, but a mm. kind of kind 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 of like. Uh, okay, there is a phrase fresh? in Hindi. Jarna. Bihari looks mm -hmm. Bihari people say heek jarna. Heek jarna. Yeah. Yeah. Heek. Right? That is heartburn. Heek jarna, I also don't know. Yeah. I also don't oh, eat, but I would love God. when the dessert is desserts is available there. Hey, hey. I have I have a feeling that heek jarna. <coughs> heek jarna. Yeah, they they you know say it. The beginning of heek jarna is. I think I don't know. The English ruled over us for more than 200 years. 
and you don't know how they have impacted our language in so many ways. So I don't know, maybe the beginning, the start of this, uh, the origin of this expression, heek jarna, might be English, heartburn. It is caused by stomach acid uh, rising into your esophagus reflux here, okay, which runs through your chest close to your heart. So when the stomach acid rises up above, okay, and reaches other parts of the body, okay, then Hindi means you get a heek jarna. In pet ka jo gas yeah. hai na, acid hai, upar chalata hai. Kata, heek jar hai. We, you drink some water or something. Like khatta dhakar? Khatta dhakar aate hai, yes. Heek jar yeah. hai, to yes. But that is something different, sir. No, nah, it is not. It I is don't... not. Okay, well, well, this this doesn't happen when we eat dessert after the, like, whatever, lunch or dinner or anything. Oh, come on. So many people yeah, complain. I also never felt that. You never felt it great. You guys have got good digestive system, but a lot of people would not put something sweet in their mouth after eating um, a spicy chicken spicy curry. Tea, yeah. things, okay, they will never eat anything sweet because this will cause heartburn to them. Okay, moving on. Um, but uh, but there is a uh, you know dessert to come. You know, dessert is coming. Four. <laughs> Can I have some water, please? Sure. Do you want still or sparkling? Just tap water is fine, actually. Just tap water is fine, actually. You don't have to worry so much. Still water, sparkling water. Just tap water is fine. Five. Has everyone got room for dessert? Well, I have. It looks fantastic. Did you make it yourself? I did. Has an, everyone got room for dessert? Uh, yes. Well, I have. I have. It looks fantastic. Did you make it yourself? It's my grandmother's recipe. It's my grandmother's recipe. Six. Would anyone like some more ice cream? Uh, Aman, room means Aman? Yes, please. Very good. Yes, please. I'd love another spoonful of the strawberry. Here you are. Help yourself. Another spoonful of the strawberry. Strawberry ice cream. Here, help yourself. Here, help yourself. Here, help yourself. Coffee. Black with no. How would you like your. Help yourself. Of the strawberry. Here you are. Help yourself. Here you are. Help yourself. Yellow. Lelo. Kutse lelo. Yellow. Kutse lelo. Here you are. Help yourself. Help yourself. So when you help yourself, to some food or something, okay? It means you do not wait for somebody else to serve it into your plate. You do it yeah. by yourself. By okay. yourself. Uh, I yeah. remember uh, something where when we, uh, when I was in the previous pre-intermediate class, hmm. and when that day uh, we we uh, we celebrated teacher day and teacher's we day. were studied this year teacher's day we were studied this topic and there uh, there were some guys who you what I um, who pankuri uh, you help yourself and the same yeah, yeah it was pankuri there were some boys who what shy some students who use this phrase help okay. yourself yeah 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 yourself. because you know yeah, some feel your home and help yourself. They, they feel excited when they learn something and they want to make yeah. it part of their you know life where they want to use those phrases it's a nice thing you know students should do it actually they should learn use expressions they learn then they will never have to revise it okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So help yourself to the chicken. But help the yourself problem to the, is you know, uh, where we are stuck, a student is stuck and they don't grow as they expect uh, because uh, expect, sorry, because we don't have uh, how to, uh, no, not opportunity, sir. We don't have a student who can speak to me in English whenever I want. Environments. No, nah. don't have I, any more. I, yeah, totally disagree with what you were, what you both said. Totally disagree with that. If it if that was a criteria, 
if that was something compulsory to learning English, then I wouldn't be teaching you what I'm teaching. Tala, is, Tala was my best partner. I really missed him when we were used to live in hostel. Remember, trust me, you guys do not need so much of speaking practice. A little bit of speaking practice is more than enough. What you really need is a lot of listening practice. And I will not change my opinion because it is coming from reading experts, you know, research papers and all that. Okay. You guys enjoy that talking in English, having not to worry about learning new things. When you listen, it is a passive activity and you feel that you're not having fun. That's why you don't really want to accept the importance of listening, but that will not change the reality. Listening is going to be more powerful. Even when Lisa or somebody comes into this class, you guys will speak, but if you listen to her carefully, then you will improve, you will learn because you will see how they form their sentences. Yeah. So yes. the fact that the, the, the explanation you guys have given to yourself that you do not have somebody to talk to. When then I would say this girl, I will bring to the class someday uh, from Uzbekistan. She doesn't have anybody to talk to in English. She has to go online to talk to, uh, you know, to talk in English. And she'll speak so well. How come? Because learning doesn't depend on your speaking. Learning yeah, has yeah, nothing so to do with your speaking. Learning has everything to do with your hunger and your listening input practices. Input practices is what you need. So listening, reading, grammar exercises. Speaking is an output activity. It doesn't help you get better in any way. Uh, how do I? I don't know. Will you agree with me if I share, say, said this? Somebody gags you, okay? Put something in your mouth, seals your mouth, okay? Does a surgery on your lips. You're now not able to speak. But it is not a surgery that, you know, by, you know, like medical surgery. It just makes you unable to speak. He puts some, some, those, some of those, you know, you know, things on your tapes, on your lips. And you're unable to, you know, take them off. And what happens next? That person takes you to England or America. Leaves you there for five years. And for five years, you could not open your mouth there. That tape is still on your mouth. When it will be taken off, you'll be speaking much, much better English. Believe it or not, but this is how it will happen. Tell me, how many of you how many of you think that what you said is absolutely logical and this is exactly what will happen? And how many of you say, really, this will be true? This is logical. Not but you know, sir, actor, I, I agree with you, but uh, yes, I, I agree with you too. But not, you know, you are right, you are a teacher, you know, you have experience. But trust me that how a cricketer or an actor learns English, you know, they hired someone who know English, who they have they, they talk to in English and didn't understand English. what I meant. What I meant was, I wanted to just let you know that the emphasis on speaking is wrong. Even without speaking for five years, if you stay in the right environment, you will speak much better when you are allowed to speak. I also you will not speak the way, that when, the way you were speaking five years before. You would speak better. Yeah. Because of all the listening input, because input is what... <laughs> makes you better. Now, all these things that you're saying, how cricketers learn and all that, obviously they get a chance to speak, but they do not speak because they get a chance to speak. Because I told you the, this experiment that you do not learn to speak because of speaking. They do not get better because they're speaking. I'll, I'll, I'll give you another. Another. 
So somebody does an operation on you and temporary, temporarily makes you deaf. But you can speak. Now they'll take you to England for five years. Five years later, you'll be speaking the same English that you were speaking earlier, five years ago. Why? Because you did not have any input for those five years. Yes. There are two sources of input, reading and listening. Reading and listening. And there are two reading output, and output methods, writing and speaking. So writing and speaking is not, this is good practice to, okay. Like this speaking practice and writing practice improve your style. They do not give you better skill in speaking or writing. They improve your style. So when you write more, when you write more, you learn from your writing mistakes. It improves your writing. But if you stop the reading thing, then there is no improvement coming. Because there is no input. So please do not confuse the input and output methods. They are totally two different things. Your output doesn't improve you. Output gives you practice so that you can, whatever you know, you, rep you represent it better. That's all. But it doesn't, it doesn't help you know more. Simple. Yeah. Whatever you know, you will be able to represent it better. You will express it better. Whatever you know. Okay. But how will you know more? If you guys think you know enough, you start focusing on, you know, expression. But if you realize that you do not know enough at the moment, then focus on improving your knowledge. And that will be through input methods. But speaking reduces a stress or like hesitation. Agree. I, I feel agree. like that. Agree. Agree. Agreed. Hundred percent agreed, Rocky. But remember this again. There have been experiments where learners were stopped from speaking. I would like to share with you that if that you know about that um, experiment that I'm talking about. Let me see if I can <laughs> find that video. You guys just, I don't understand why it is. Yeah. It's so difficult for you guys to accept this because of, they say, they say, how do I say this? I'm going to say an analogy. Don't go away. Don't go away. How do you say this? 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 How do you Logically fail कर जाता है उसको ये करना फिर भी उसको मानते हो ना yeah. वैसे ही वैसे ही जो बात बचपन से तुम्हें बताई गई ना बोलने से इंग्लिश आता है बोलने से इंग्लिश सही होता है तो वो सब चीजें तुम्हारे दिमाग में वैसी बैठी हैं तुम्हारे बोलने से तुम्हारे अंदर क्या नया आ जाएगा sir when you, you will speak when you listen something I said if you have a good environment improve like style i do did mention that i did mention it will help you improve your style but it will but not I... grow your knowledge at all speaking will not grow your knowledge it Sir, will I only did. help you give finish to your style like rakhi said that when you speak then it calms you down more speaking makes you feel more comfortable absolutely but, but if that is the problem, that could be the case with those people who have amazing skills in writing English. Please do not misunderstand the problem. There are some students, they have amazing skills in writing English. When they write, you will not find a, more than a couple of errors in their whole page. And they write fantastic words, phrases, everything. Those people need that practice that Rakhi is talking about. And they find it difficult to speak. But I'm what about having, you? Uh, it, hmm, I'm go having ahead. a little problem that, uh, you know, um, um, like I can speak little English, not that much. But uh, in Delhi, whenever I find someone like uh, they are speaking very fluent English and 
I cannot speak a phrase uh, in front of them. Like if I try, I speak wrong, and I just immediately Absolutely. I got that. I, I, I know speak. why that happens, and you are comparing yourself with the wrong people. That's why you are comparing, comparing yourself with the wrong I'm, people. Okay, I don't tell me you're not comparing. I'm. I don't compare, sir. I just uh, try to communicate like a little bit, but uh, I do mistake. And it, it is just because, because of, of my confidence, uh, my less con no, 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 my low confidence. Your... You think that you will be wrong because you are speaking. Let me tell you, Rakshi. Uh, I have to be honest here now that you said that. There is plenty that you need to learn. Okay? Learn. Learn. I'm saying learn. Forget about anything else. I'm saying there is plenty that you need to learn. You know very little English. Yeah. And that English will allow you to have a slow communication with somebody. And the people you're talking about perhaps are native-like speakers of English. Yes, yeah, sir. So when, and especially when you are not at their level in other aspects, let's say that they are your, in, you know, you are a big, big businesswoman, Raki. Okay. And they work for you. They are native-like, but they work for you. You'll be able to have a conversation with them despite your poor English. Okay? Yes. So yes. They, mm -hmm. Despite your inferior yeah, English. I'm saying the same but, thing. Low confidence. If they are on a superior position than you, you are going to find it even more challenging to talk to them. One, your poor English skills. And two, the differ difference in the social status of the people and you. That is also going to cause a problem. Because yeah, these things affect sense. your psychology when you talk to them. I nice. spoke good English, okay? And there was this uh, DM, he could not speak much English, but I did feel struck, uh, find myself struggling because I knew I was talking to a DM. Okay. So that was playing on my mind. Once I let that, you know, when, once I took care of that, I spoke well. So why, why did I struggle? When he didn't know any English and I was talking to him and I struggled, why did I struggle? Don't forget, you couldn't speak to your principal in Hindi even. Okay, you would speak one or two words and then you will be quiet. You forget all what you know. Sit beside a friend and you have so many stories to tell. Psychology is also important when you're having a conversation. What's the rapport between you and the person you're talking to? So whatever you guys are saying, it cannot defend this faulty idea that you guys speak in order to speak better. Speak better, you can improve your style. You cannot take care of your mistakes. Remember what I'm saying. By speaking, you cannot take care of your mistakes. Your mistakes will continue to take place, the same mistakes. Speaking will not improve you. If you're making certain mistakes today, okay? And if I'm saying, if you just speak, don't listen to, okay, English, then these, these mistakes will never be taken care of. If you notice, what do you realize about Nikhil? He speaks so much faster than other people. But the kind of mistakes he makes, he surprises me and astonishes me. He doesn't even notice that he made those mistakes. How come? And it is going to be the most difficult for him to change, change himself. It is going to be the most difficult for him than anybody else to change himself. Why? He's not listening. One, he's not listening. And two... His habits are older. So you guys, when you say you're speaking, you are creating bigger problems for yourselves by speaking when you're not ready to speak. When you start late, you keep listening. Again, these are radical ideas, but people have done research and they have proved, found them to be true. A class was conducted, a, a linguist was doing a research he put kids and adults together in the class. And he said, you guys will only listen. Okay? You are, there is no pressure on you to speak. The teacher never asked them to speak. And he just kept giving input. He stood there, native speaker of English. He played games. He spoke and this and that. And result was astonishing. The adults did not have mother tongue influence when they spoke. They spoke in a very similar accent to the speaker because they were not forced to start early. In other classes, what we do, we teach two, two sentences and we ask the students to repeat them. So what happens? 
when the students repeat them, they have a huge problem of accent because they do not listen to the native speakers enough. That's why they do not speak the same way. Their pronunciation is so faulty. You know, for every thousand successful learners, there are millions, not one million, millions of unsuccessful learners. Okay, why? Because of these faulty ideas that speaking helps. Listening helps. Quietly just listen and do nothing. And someday you'll, you'll surprise yourself when you speak that language without any practice with anybody. Here is a true story. My friend Sara, whose mother was from Germany. They were in Germany for, I think, uh, for some time. And no, she was in uh, America and then her mother took her to Germany and it was a little bit of a shock for her because she was four or five years old. She was capable, she, uh, an American girl speaking American English and she had to live in Germany. Germany. So she, yeah, she couldn't understand what was going on there, of course. Okay. But slowly and slowly, one day she spoke, of course, after multiple years, not one or two years, she spoke and she spoke German without any practice. Remember. Okay, kids do not need practice. Kids speak what they have already learned and they keep learning to, you know, keep listening to learn more. So why is it so hard for you guys to understand? It's not religion. You can't change yourself. Come on. It's common sense. It's logic. You do not add anything to your knowledge when you're speaking. You only show what you have learned when you speak. So by speaking more, you cannot add anything to your knowledge. And your passive vocabulary doesn't become active vocabulary because of your speaking. Again, let me tell you. Your passive vocabulary doesn't become your active vocabulary by your more speaking. My wife is the best example. She's the most comfortable speaking English. Okay. But because she doesn't spend as many hours listening, her English has not grown that much. But you guys won't listen to me, won't agree with me. I don't know why. This is so logical, easy to understand. And all experts will give you, go online, find out, read about it. But then you listen to people around you saying, oh, doesn't matter. Point. What is the point? My point is that maybe we can. जानकारी इंप्रूव करोगे स्टाइल तुम्हारे बोलने में थरथराहट हो रही है और ये बोलने से थोड़ा कंफर्टेबल हो जाएंगे जैसे राखी ने कहा लेकिन ये उन लोगों के लिए है जो इंग्लिश भाषा को बहुत अच्छे से सीख चुके हैं गलत इनपुट तरीके से जैसे अगर आप रीडिंग बहुत की है और आप एक अच्छे दिमाग के इंसान है तो आप बहुत अच्छी इंग्लिश लिखेंगे उसमें एरर्स नहीं ढूंढा जा सकता आपकी इंग्लिश बहुत बेहतर लेवल की होगी लेकिन जब आप बोलने जाओगे यू विल स्ट्रगल अ लॉट क्योंकि कान में आवाज नहीं गई है तो ऐसे लोग बोल करके अपने बोलने की क्षमता को थोड़ा बेहतर कर सकते हैं ऐसे लोग सिर्फ कितने परसेंट लोग ऐसे लर्नर्स हैं जिनकी इंग्लिश जब क्लास में आते तो बहुत अच्छी है लिखने में बहुत अच्छी बहुत तरह तरह के सेंटेंसेस लिख सकते हैं इंस्टेड ऑफ अनलेस अनचिल ये सब चीजों को फॉलो करते हैं वो लिखने में एकदम परफेक्टली नो प्रॉब्लम बट दे फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू स्पीक इंग्लिश ऐसे कितने लोग मिलते हैं तुम्हें जीरो तुम एक को नहीं जानते हो ऐसे जब मैं पढ़ाता हूँ इतने सारे लड़कों को तो इतने तेज तेज दिमाग के लड़के आते हैं उनको अनलेस नहीं पता होता एंटिल नहीं पता होता कैसे यूज करना है वो जब सामने सेंटेंस आता है तो वो स्ट्रगल करते हैं समझना पड़ता है उनको और तुम कह रहे हो बहुत सर मैं एक लड़की को जानता हूँ अभी तक मैं जो बहुत अच्छा लिख लेती थी बोलने में उसको मुश्किल होती थी तो उसके लिए ये सब बातें सही है कि आप क्या कर सकते हो बोलने की प्रैक्टिस करो लेकिन फिर अगर वो सुने तो ज्यादा आसानी से कर लेंगे क्यों क्योंकि सुनने से कान जो है ना जीव को गाइड करता है लेकिन हाँ उनके लिए बोलना होगा 
क्योंकि वो बहुत अच्छी इंग्लिश भाषा सीख चुके हैं लेकिन आवाज नहीं निकाल पा रहे लेकिन अगर हम नॉर्मल तरीके से सीख रहे हैं जैसे सुन करके कॉन्वर्सेशन सुन के तो बोलने का प्रेशर है ही नहीं जबरदस्ती प्रेशर है और इसी वजह से स्टूडेंट्स लाइक अमन साहिल गुड़िया ये सब सक्सेसफुल हो पाए यहाँ पर थोड़ा बहुत भी बोलने में क्योंकि मेरी ये सोच थी कि इनको कोई प्रेशर नहीं डालना है कितना बोलना है बहुत बोलना है बस सुनो ये सुनने की वजह से चार लाइन बोल पाते हैं नहीं तो इनसे फॉर्म इनसे अगर वो तरीके जो तुम लोग बात करते हो जहां प्रेशर डाला जाए बोलो बोलो वाला बेचारे परेशान हो जाते नहीं कर पाते कुछ भी कुछ नहीं एक लाइन नहीं होता वही अटके रहते जाते क्योंकि आप उनसे कहते बोलो आप जब किसी को सुनने का फ्रीडम देते हैं लेकिन अब सुनने के बाद अब दिमाग भी होना चाहिए अगर आपका दिमाग चलता है हालांकि सबका चलेगा थोड़ा देर सवेर सुनने से सबका चलेगा थोड़ा देर सवेर तो कुछ ऐसे होते हैं जो कम सुनते और चाहते दिमाग चलने लगे मुश्किल होती है तो ये बात कहना कि बोलने से आपका इंग्लिश बेहतर होता है ये एकदम इलॉजिकल बात है आपकी स्टाइल बेहतर हो सकती है आप ज्यादा कंफर्टेबल फील कर सकते हैं आदत पड़ जाने की वजह से मेरी वाइफ बहुत कंफर्टेबल फील करती है बोलते समय इंग्लिश उसकी इंग्लिश बहुत ही एवरेज लेवल पे है वो बहुत अच्छी इंग्लिश नहीं जानती क्यों उतना इनपुट नहीं है उनके पास इनपुट आएगा सीखेंगे दिमाग को प्रोसेस करने के जानकारी तो मिले इंफॉर्मेशन तो मिले प्रोसेस करेगा क्या दिमाग किस चीज को प्रोसेस करेगा इनपुट है ही नहीं आप इनपुट जीरो करके बैठे हो आप दिन भर में मूवी देख लेते हो मूवी देखते समय आपका फोकस कहाँ रहता है क्या हो रहा है इवेंट में अब दो चार नए वर्ड ढूंढते हो उसमें इससे नहीं होता इसको इनपुट नहीं कहते अगर आप इनपुट के लिए मूवी देखोगे देन यू विल नॉट बी कंसर्न विद द इवेंट्स देयर यू विल बी मोर कंसर्न विद द वर्ड्स दे आर यूजिंग ऑल द टाइम Your focus will be what words they're using, what words they're using with every scene, with every situation, with every dialogue. Your focus will be what words are they using. Then you can learn from movies as well. But if you are watching a movie, enjoying the scene, enjoying the you know the situation and the everything, and you'll say I'm learning English through this movie, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, but not so much. Why for last fifteen years I haven't seen many films in English, but I spent a lot of time. listening to the bbc you think after achieving all this i'm be being stupid here that i'm not watching movies i'm listening to the bbc because i know when i'm listening to the bbc there is no scene to distract me in front of my eyes i have only one sense to focus on my listening obviously that i will learn more but the the, the longer it takes the more harmful it is going to be for you you realize it that listening is learning you guys got to spend time again tumhari problem kya hai main batata hu tum kyun nahi mante ho is baat ko wo bata deta hu tumhare samne se jab koi sentence aise bol ke jata hai tum kehte ho mujhe kuch fayda nahi hua tumne wo sentence suna bas itna hi hota hai tumhe usse kuch fayda nahi hota ye yahi dikkat hai to ye hai ki jaldi ummeed karna raho usme comprehensible input lo comprehensible input matlab ऐसी बातचीत सुनो जो सुन के तुम्हें समझ में आ जाए अगर इनकॉम्प्रिहेंसिबल इनपुट या कॉम्प्रिहेंसिबल इनपुट से बाहर के दायरे की चीजें सुन रहे तो आपको फायदा नहीं होगा लिसनिंग का लिसनिंग इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल लेकिन यू नीड टू लिसन यू हैव इनपुट व्हिच इज कॉम्प्रिहेंसिबल अभी जितनी बार बुलवा लो मुझे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता मत मानो मेरी बात बहुत लोग नहीं माने नो प्रॉब्लम वाई बिकॉज रियालिटी डजन चेंज आपसे मैं सीधा पूछूंगा तुम बोलते रहो जितना जानते हो जितना तुमको पता है जितना जानते हो बोलते रहोगे उसमें इंप्रूवमेंट कैसे आएगा कि तुम बेहतर कैसे हो जाओगे मैं आज जितना बोलता हूँ जितना जानता हूँ क्या मैं दस साल पहले इतना जानता था तो नहीं तो ये मैं बोलते बोलते जान गया ये सब या सुनने से जाना जो दस साल मेरी चेंज आई वो किस वजह से आई है तो दस साल पहले मैं बातों को नहीं समझ पाता था कई लोग मेरे सामने कुछ बोल के चले जाते मुझे नहीं समझ में आता बहुत सारे फ्रेजेस वो कैसे मैं जान पाया और आप अभी बोल रहे हो क्या बोल के बेहतर हो आप लोगों को सिर्फ नहीं आप मानो चाहे नहीं मानो आपको कम एक्साइटमेंट वाली चीजें पसंद नहीं है सुनना कम एक्साइटमेंट वाले बोलने से आप लोग जब बोलते हो खास करके आपके बारे में मैं बोल रहा हूँ कुछ मेरे आप जैसे स्टूडेंट जो हैं वो बोलते हैं अटेंशन सीख करते हैं और कुछ नहीं आपके लाइफ में इंग्लिश का कोई रोल नहीं है आप सिर्फ इंग्लिश अटेंशन के लिए सीखते हो बोलते हो बाकी कुछ नहीं लेट मी बी ब्रूटली ऑनेस्ट that's the reality you don't care about being good in english you care about the im im impression you get Why honestly you speaking you want attention when you speak english if 
I put you in, in front of those people who all speak English and don't care about English, you will not enjoy speaking English in front of them. You will enjoy speaking in front of those people who say speaking English is a big thing. Yeah. I also learned English because it made me feel special. As a, as a middle class boy, um, because I came from middle class family, there was nothing for, you know that I could show off. I had no money, I had no great looks, I had no, you know, bike, nothing, no great body to show off, okay? But when I learned to speak English, then suddenly I realized that people are giving me attention and we like it as a young teenagers, we love attention. So I learned English just for the attention. But then, kabhi kabhi koi kaam jo shuru karte hai, oh na, wohan se alag intention pe chala jata hai. Kabhi kabhi kisi ladke ke saath hua hoga, ki kisi ladki se se mazak mazak mein dosti kari hoogi. Thik hai, uske saath, uska phone number challenge leke liya hoga. Uske saath koi serious intention nahi raha hoga. Lekin pata nahi kaap ka kaisa ho jata hai, you become serious for her. You know, that is exactly what happened with me. I started liking this language, not because I was getting just attention. Uh, because in 1999, I stopped my uh, myself uh, i got myself into a different field i became a businessman english was useless i didn't use english but because i liked it i still learned through newspapers i was reading i was learning you see but i didn't get a chance to speak for three years four years until 2005 for five years six years i didn't have much opportunity to speak only when I went to Varanasi, I spoke some English with some foreigners here because I was doing business. Who speaks English to people here who are doing business? No one. So I did lose my ability to speak because I was staying out of touch. But then it, I recovered it very soon. I polished off like in two, three months because I had it inside me because I was doing input and everything. So this is English English. बोलना नहीं सीख रहे हो, English सीख रहे हो। तो इस बात को जब तक आप realize नहीं करोगे कि आप English बोलना नहीं सीख रहे हो, आप English सीख रहे हो, बोलना extra है। कुछ लोग English जानते हैं, बोलने में मुश्किल होती है। और जब ये बात मैं कहता हूँ, कुछ लोग English जानते हैं, बोलने मुश्किल होती है, आप में से कोई उस category में qualify नहीं कर रहा तो क्या करें फिर कैसे कहें कि आप इंग्लिश जानते हैं और खास करके तब की बात करिए जब आप पहली दफा आए थे आप, आप में से कुछ लोग मेरे साथ काफी समय से हैं तो मैं आपको ऑफेंड नहीं कर सकता बिकॉज़ यू गाइस हैव वर्क्ड हार्ड टू इंप्रूव वेयरएवर यू हैव कम टू ओके तो आप लोग सीखे हो लिसनिंग से रीडिंग से इनपुट मेथड से इनपुट मेथड पे ज्यादा समय दो दिन भर में अब बंद कर देते हो अमन याद रखना बेटा जहां तक पहुंचे हो ना सिर्फ इनपुट मेथड की वजह से पहुंचे हो इनपुट पे ज्यादा वक्त दिया था तुम कितना बोलते थे अमन जब एलिमेंट्री क्लास में थे तो कितने सेंटेंसेस बोलते थे अम आई थिंक जस्ट आई क्वाइट जस्ट आई वाज क्वाइट ऑलवेज क्वाइट इन द क्लास आई हैव सो मेनी सच स्टूडेंट्स अंशु का नाम याद आता है एक लड़की का एलिमेंट्री में शायद ही कभी बोलती थी जब सवाल पूछता था जवाब देती थी क्योंकि उसका दिमाग बहुत शार्प था तो समझती थी मेरी बातों को जब मैं बोल रहा हूं तो ठीक है शायद गुड़िया जानती होगी अंशु को क्योंकि पुरानी स्टूडेंट है तो वो सुनती थी अब उसके बाद प्री इंटरमीडिएट में उसके जो 6 7 महीने बीते ना सुनते सुनते उसमें वो कॉन्फिडेंस आ गया सुनने के वैसे वो बोलने लगी प्री इंटरमीडिएट में उसको चुप कराना मुश्किल होता था ठीक है तो उसने कौन सी बोलने की प्रैक्टिस कर ली यार कोई डिस्कशन नहीं था क्लास में कुछ नहीं सिर्फ मैं बोलता था वो सुनते थे तो जबरदस्ती कर रहे हो आप मत करो कोई फायदा नहीं आपका अपने आप दिमाग से हटाओ कि आप बोल कम रहे हो इसलिए कम सीख रहे हो आप ये जरूर सोचना शुरू करो can you improve on the timing of your input can you have more input can you observe more when you're listening i said the where we will speak sir where we know you don't need to you don't need to speak bolna hi nahi hai main to kya bol raha hu tum sunte raho input karte raho input karte raho jis din jahan muh kholne ki zarurat padegi behtar hi bologe likh lo but my so intention I, was different and you took, uh, and you take this thing I, I will understand that part that it motivates you koi partner hai uske sath masti hoti baat karne se interest jag jata hai ye sab baatein main maan lunga na bilkul maan lunga ki jaise aap kisi se baat karte ho to aapka interest jag jata hai usme fir uski wajah se aap jate ho thoda sunne bhi jab aap i i na confident nahi aapko interest ki baat kar raha hu jaise wo talha hai 
कलह के साथ वो बात करता था मजा आता था चलो भैया दोनों साथ मिलकर कुछ पढ़ भी रहे तो वो कह रहे हैं आप अब वहां पर हो गया बचपना अगर आप सिंसियर हो आपको पता है आपको किसी चीज की जरूरत है वो कैसे हासिल होगा माई डॉटर से पप्पा वेन समी टीचिंग मी ऑन यूट्यूब आई गेट डिस्ट्रैक्टेड वेन दैट पर्सन इज राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी इट्स इजी फॉर मी तो इट्स अ साइकोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम इट्स नॉट दैट देर इज अ रियल इश्यू हियर नाउ यू कैन हैंडल इट some people are actually enjoying it that the person is teaching them online because they have the ability to put that person on pause when somebody is teaching you right in front of you you cannot press the pause button and make that person stop so there is an advantage there but my daughter is just saying wo maza nahi aata jab samne hota hai to maza aata hai to main janta hu wo baat main maan lunga aapki baat lekin phir wahan pe aap bachpana kar rahe ho just like my daughter is she is a kid she is being kidish you know that's why it's not something a very genuine real problem no it is not it is only in your head you can convince yourself that it is an advantage so agar aapko english ki zarurat hogi to aap kar lenge agar aapka real interest hoga to aap input pe samay bitayenge bolte hue aapne saurav ko kitna bolte hue suna hai class mein not a lot jab bolega to aap log se acha hi bolega jab bhi bolega to kya kya wajah hai isi input le raha hai na input le raha hai liye ja raha hai इनपुट को प्रोसेस किया जा रहा है इनपुट आए और उसको प्रोसेस ना करें लापरवाही की वजह से केयरलेसनेस की वजह से डिस्ट्रैक्टेड होने की वजह से इनपुट आ रहा है प्रोसेस नहीं कर रहे ध्यान नहीं दे रहे प्रोसेस नहीं होगा तो मेरी बात मानो मैं तुम्हारा वेल विशर हूं प्लीज अपने आप को यह मत कहो कि तुम्हें बोलने वाला पार्टनर चाहिए तुम ये कहो अपने आप को मुझे इंग्लिश इंप्रूव करने के लिए आधे घंटे और ज्यादा इनपुट देना है चाहे पढ़ते हुए चाहे सुनते हुए एंड दैट शुड बी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिबल इनपुट ऐसी कोई चीज मत सुनो जो सुन के बोर होते हो ऐसी कोई चीज मत सुनो जो सुन करके समझ में नहीं आए ऐसी चीजें सुनो जो समझ में आए अभी यहां पर आएगा चैलेंज कुछ लोग कहेंगे समझ में आई रहा तो क्यों सुने बस वही सुनो जो समझ में आता है और कुछ मत सुनो जो समझ में आता है वही सुनो जो नहीं सुने उसको एकदम इग्नोर करो एकदम इग्नोर करो जाने दो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है सुनना ही नहीं उस बात को जो समझ में नहीं आ रहा जिसमें इंटरेस्ट लगे अगर बाय द वे ऐसा लगे कि सुने नहीं समझ दूसरी बार में समझ में आ गया तो वो खाली बैरियर था एक तरह का जो नहीं समझ में आएगा वो काफी देर तक नहीं समझ में आएगा जो तुम्हारे लेवल पे नहीं है कभी तुम्हारे ऑडियो फाइल्स ऐसी होती हैं यू गाइस प्ले वंस यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड देन यू प्ले द सेकंड टाइम यू अंडरस्टैंड मोर एंड देन दर्ड टाइम इट बिकम्स वेरी इजी तो इसका मतलब वो सिर्फ बैरियर था साइकोलॉजिकल अगर रियल चैलेंज होता तो तीन बार में तुम्हें समझ में नहीं आने लग जाता ठीक है तो जो बातें बता रहा हूँ एक एक फैक्टर लेके बात कर रहा हूँ कि सुनना है तो क्या सुनना है इंटरेस्ट समथिंग दैट इंटरेस्ट यू समथिंग दैट टोटली इंटरेस्ट यू जिसमें तुम्हारा खूब पैशन काम करता है उन सब चीजों के बारे में बात करो उसके बारे में सुनो कोई भी बात रिलेटेड उस चीज से हो जिसमें तुम्हारा खूब इंटरेस्ट है तभी तुम एक दिन राखी उन लोगों से बात कर पाओगी जिनके बारे में तुम अभी बात कर रही हो दोनों मुंबई सर यू नो ऑल इज इंग्लिश english all english like but he doesn't speak much then he worked in call center sir he start working in call center and where he had some um, like i don't explain sir they they taught him uh, how to speak and some for three month two month what is this called i don't i don't have that word training sir, sorry training and he worked 11 years sir there and now he said he said to me that uh, sometime i forget to speak in, in uh, to uh, he speak every bare english he, he speaks every bare english but he yes. forget that he, he doesn't know english they don't know english yes yes he is used to it he said i know he went to a english medium school from acha but tum log jab baat chit karte ho kisi se तो फिर से बता देता हूं उस बातचीत में जितने देर तुम चुप होकर सुन रहे होते हो उस समय सीख रहे होते हो yeah. तुम जिस समय सुन रहे होते हो किसी की बात उस समय तुम्हारा दिमाग प्रोसेस कर रहा होता है इंफॉर्मेशन को जब तुम बोल रहे होते हो उस समय नहीं सीख रहे होते हो उस समय yes. तुम जो जानते हो वो प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हो ठीक है तो नेटिव yes. स्पीकर को भी सुनना है गौर से सुनना है जिसको भी सुनना है गौर से सुनना है कि वो कैसे बोलता है कौन से वर्ड्स बोलता है और जब सॉल्ट और सॉल्ट आप गौर से सही सुन पाते इतना कम फोकस रहता है तो आपको सुनकर कोई फायदा नहीं होने वाला इसलिए आप मेरी बात से अग्री नहीं करेंगे इसलिए नहीं कि मेरी बात से नहीं आप उस तरीके से काम ही नहीं करेंगे 
आपको वो एक्साइटमेंट नहीं मिलेगा थ्रिल नहीं मिलेगा लिसनिंग में लिसनिंग इज अ बोरिंग एक्टिविटी इन सम सम वेज अगर आप मजा करते हैं जैसे आपने एक दिन मुझे बताया था कि आप किसी साथ बैठे और उससे इंग्लिश में बात किया उसने बड़ी तारीफ की आपको कितना मजा आया होगा राइट नथिंग रॉन्ग विद इट बट इफ यू स्पीक इंग्लिश फॉर दैट रीजन ओनली देन योर ग्रोथ विल डेफिनेटली बी यू नो इम्पैक्ट यस देर इज नो रिप्लेसमेंट टू इनपुट मैथड्स there is no alternative to input methods there are two input methods listening and reading you have to spend more time with these two you will benefit a lot let's meet tomorrow shall we yes, <coughs> yes bye bye guys yes. take care unfortunately um, our friend lisa could only really come she couldn't be online yeah bye bye